Hi there everyone, welcome to Accounting Tax SOS, where we cover everything accounting and tax. In this video, we are going to be covering tax topic. Most specifically, we are going to be covering bonds and their implicit and explicit tax rates and the rate of return on those bonds. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are with our scenario. Uh, first thing you'll notice is I highlighted a couple things uh, in this scenario and also I typed it out. Um, if you guys watch my other videos, my past videos, you know that I uh, do not have very good penmanship. So um, for the most part, I started typing things out, um, but I do still like to write a little bit. So I'll go ahead and read off the narrative starting at the top here. It says Franco invested $200,000 in a city bond that pays 6% interest, but Franco could have invested $200,000 in a bond issued by a corporation that pays 8% interest and has risk and other non-tax characteristics similar to the city bond. Assume Franco's marginal tax rate is 25%. So um, I'm going to go over these things that are highlighted. Uh, the things that are highlighted are very important and directly contribute uh, to what's going on in the scenario. So $200,000, as easy as the investment, um, but the first investment was in a city bond. Um, if you guys remember anything about municipal bonds, they are not taxed uh, as a tax incentive, uh, and it pays 6% interest. And then it goes on to say, but Franco could have invested, um, he could have invested the $200,000 in a um corporation that pays 8% uh, interest. So this, you would, you would look at this and say originally that I would, I would rather invest in a uh, $200,000 in a company in a corporate bond that pays 8% interest um, rather than a city bond, but we'll go and find out um, which one yields the greater return uh, at the end. So let's go and get started with Point A, what is his after-tax rate of return for the city bond? So like I said um, earlier, there is no tax on a municipal, municipal bond. No tax on a muni. So the after-tax rate of return is still 6%. So that was an easy one. Um, now we're going to go on to B. Explicit taxes. How much explicit tax does Franco pay on the city bond? So, if you guys aren't uh, familiar with implicit and, ex and explicit um, tax, I will go ahead and read off kind of uh, a definition of both of those. So basically, in some explicit uh, is a is a tax collected in form of sales tax income tax and capital gains by the government. Uh, in this scenario, we are talking about capital gains. Uh, implicit tax is the cost of an activity not collected by the government. So let's go back to B. How much explicit tax does Franco pay on the city bond? Well, because it is a tax exempt bond, there is no explicit interest uh, that is taxed on that. So no, no tax. Uh, so let's see, it says how much explicit tax? So zero, zero dollars. Okay, moving right along to part C. How much implicit tax does he pay on the city bond? Uh, the implicit tax, implicit tax, like I said before, is the cost of an activity not collected by the government. So, how much implicit tax does he pay on the city bond? Not collected by the government. So, what we're going to do first is we are going to um, his initial investment two hundred thousand dollars at six percent. And that yields twelve thousand dollars 
of interest. And then we are going to compare that to what he could have um, raked in with the corporate uh, bond. So that's another, it's again 200,000. And this time it's at 8%. interest so you will get sixteen thousand dollars interest uh, from the corporate bond so all you got to do to find the implicit tax is take the difference between uh, those those two scenarios and twelve thousand and you will get four thousand dollars of implicit tax on uh, that city bond. Okay, so how much explicit tax um, would he have paid on the corporate bond? Okay, so to get the explicit tax on the corporate bond, all you gotta do is take his marginal tax rate, 25%, oh, sorry, 25%, 25, and multiply that by um, what he receives in interest from the corporate bond, which is $16,000. Okay. And all I did to get that was multiply $200,000 by the 8% return uh, to get 16000 And here that is $16,000. Um, so what you're going to do next is, and that is, that's multiply. So I'm going to put that there what you get is four thousand dollars and that is your answer for uh, part D okay lastly we have question E what would have been his after-tax rate of return on the corporate bond this one is pretty simple so all you gotta do is take his marginal rate here at 25 percent take that down here 25 multiply that one by his 16,000 of gains of interest you will get four thousand dollars and since this money is taxed uh, you do not receive this four thousand dollars so you're going to subtract that from your gain of sixteen thousand sixteen thousand minus four thousand to get a total of twelve thousand dollars Of, uh, of interest income but we're not done yet uh, to get the rate because it says what is the after tax rate of return not the after tax return all you got to do is divide this into the initial investment of uh, $200,000 that's a zero not a six $200,000 and you get a rate of six percent the same rate as you get if you invest in a municipal bond. All right, so that concludes this problem. I hope you guys um, understand the point that this problem is trying to make. Um, I'll go ahead and sum it up. Franco invests $200,000 in a municipal bond, a city bond, that pays 6% interest. Um, all in all, he ends up paying 0% taxes and gets a return of $12,000. So the, the city, $12,000 okay and then the corporate bond corporate bond it yields 8% interest okay so he gets a return of $16,000 but because it is a corporate bond the government uh, takes capital gain taxes so basically you're taking $4,000 away from that to arrive back at $12,000. So basically this is trying to, to show that these are equal. And before you make a decision on what type of vehicle to invest in, go ahead, do your research, uh, do the appropriate calculations because they might just be the same. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. 
um, go ahead and if you haven't already go ahead and check out my other videos and I will catch you in my next video.